Hello everyone, Intuitive Healing, Gabriela is here today. Welcome everyone, welcome, very warmly welcome. I'm so happy to see you all today. And how are you? How are you feeling today? So definitely today my live is, live stream I would like to say, is around, let's talk about the thoughts, vibration, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, manifestation, and also let's go talk around the karma because everything is connected. I can tell you how and why is connected, thoughts, manifestation, and karma. So today I would like to bring a little bit closer, but also I would like to bring... Mm, just only very very briefly because if you like this topic i can expand more but you have to let it me know later on okay how would you like to see if that something resonates with you or something doesn't resonate with you okay so let's go dive in so sit down take a pen take a paper and let's go dive in straight away so let's go talk about the thoughts okay so what is the thoughts and also one second oh let me just only hold my uh, camera okay beautifully okie dokie so definitely so today i would like to bring that vibration that vibration around the thoughts around the manifestation straight away so what is the thoughts okay so the thought is a vibration so definitely when you're thinking about something you are vibrating the same energy for example if you're thinking about something really good in your life would like to manifest straight away okay so you are straight away manifesting that stuff because you are vibrating straight away from that vibration okay so this is the how the thoughts is really important in your life this is the how it's really important to think in a really nice good way so definitely like that okay so the thoughts manifestation and karma just going together so when you're thinking positively uh, it's not always happen isn't it because we are experiencing the human form but when you've got that thought in your high vibration then you're manifesting much more quicker because you're attracting that stuff close to you isn't it and then you're releasing you're releasing the all the karma from the past all the karma from the future uh, if you believe it or not, because you've created already that stuff, but now you're just only releasing and you're releasing and releasing. And that's how the all the three, the three things connected. So I would like to stop around the thought. Like I said, the thought is a vibration. So every vibration has a sound. Every sound has a color, has a meaning. So whatever you're going to put um, in your vortex, that's going to happen. Okay, what is the vortex? Okay, so the vortex is something how can I say it's like a kind of the basket uh, that's a tube and that could be say and also that could be I would like to say that's kind of the mm, yeah the, the best idea I would like to say that's a tube so whatever you would like to manifest in your life you can just only drop it that means that all the thoughts you're thinking all the idea all the goals whatever you would like to name it you're putting in that vortex okay and everything is already manifested because what you are saying and what you are just only mm, asking for it, you receive it already. The only thing what you can do, the only you have to match that vibration with your vibration. I mean, the vibration from the vortex. The only thing you need to release that karma, release that old patterns you possess, possess yeah, you inherit from the past and of course that wasn't your fault definitely that wasn't your fault because someone somewhere just only gave it to you and actually you've you've done this contract before when you came here on the planet earth so don't be surprised don't be surprised around it okay don't be surprised around it so that's how is everything is working together I would like to tell you my manifestation, okay? So then you can see much uh, connection between thoughts, vibration, uh, I mean that manifestation and also that karma. I would like to start from the back, from the karma, because I love everything upside down. Anyway, in our life, everything is upside down. So it's not real, everything is upside down. So definitely, um, let me begin from the karma. So how I can see the karma for for my perspective the karma is not only something I inherit from my ancestor lineage it's not I something did for somebody in the past it's not like that but also for me the karma is the constant pattern which I'm repeating all the time in my life and which one doesn't allow me 
to break that barrier, to go much more further, to go and receive what I really, really, really would like to experience in my life. Okay. So for me, for example, um, I moved already uh, to the new house. So that was happening for me two years ago. I've been trying so hard. I've been trying. Can you see? And that all the karma, which I only inherited from the past, I was repeating from my past lives, um, couldn't allow me to go couldn't allow me because I didn't allow myself to break that pattern. I was constantly in that vibration, in that loop. I was just only bouncing. Probably you experience that stuff as well sometimes in your life. I was bouncing. I was bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. I was repeating, repeating, repeating because my whole aura around me, okay, you can read it more around the aura or maybe I can make the video. Um, the, all the patterns from the past lives, all the patterns from the previous uh, experience was just only vibrating around me until I just only hit that wall. I just only hit that completely bottom of my life, I would like to say. Then I realized, oh gosh, that's the pattern. I need to be much more grat grateful <laughs> what I'm receiving each day. I would like to appreciate everything much more and I would like to accept it, let it go and trust more. Can you see? That's the, all the stuff I realized. I realized. But how I can realize? Definitely I've done my inner work. Yeah. But inner child work is really essential. If you don't go inside, excuse me, forget it about the rest of the, the stuff, what you would like to manifest around it. Okay, you can just only say, okay, that's fine. I agree with you. Or maybe you can say, no, it's totally okay too. So that's why I just only realized, okay? And that's why I bro break, um, and broke that pattern. And then the stuff just only start happening straight away and spontaneously for me. So everything was just only happening very slowly, but I was aligned. I was so succeed, I would like to say. I had that feeling of the satisfaction. So pay attention. When you feel that satisfaction inside you, that's the moment of the life. That's the manifestation. So ask the universe, yes, thank you, or ask the God, whatever you believe are, okay? Just, yes, just give me more, give me more, give me more. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that feeling. So when I just only start doing that stuff, that's around the manifestation, when I felt that um, sensation, when I felt that feeling inside me, a whole my body, on my aura, and then everything was just only came very easily. Because remember, you don't have to push anything in your life. You don't have to work so hard in your life. No, no, until you're going to match that vibration, probably, you know, but it's really difficult to say it, isn't it? It's much more harder to do it, isn't it? Because we need, to put effort, we need to put effort in our life, isn't it? We can't just only say it and say it and say it. Because remember, the world, the world doesn't teach you. The experience teaches you. When you've got experience in your life, that's all you need to have to evolve and expand your um, human beings, okay, on the planet Earth. So when I reached that stuff and I felt that enlightenment in my life, because remember, the enlightenment is not something like a Buddha, you're sitting in the cave and you're meditating all day long. <laughs> no, forget it, forget it. Enlightenment is everything is coming too easy for you. You're feeling that flow like a river, isn't it? So this is the kind of the stuff, okay? So I felt it. So I felt it. So that's the manifestation. How I that manifested? Because I was constantly reminding myself. Um, but remember, when you're reminding yourself, you need to feel that it's really good for you, okay? That resonates with you. And that's bring you the good, great, positive energy. So I'm rem reminding myself constantly, everything is working for me. So this is the magic word I can just give you if you would like to take it and re Repeat it to yourself each time if you would like to experience something good in your life. So I was constantly reminding myself, everything is working for you. Everything is working for you. And any thoughts, of course, I had the doubts and inside myself. But every time I've been just only deleting them, I've been just only acknowledge them because don't say, oh, I'm ignoring you and just go away. No, because they will become back twice to you. Okay, make a friend. Just when you ask them, what would you like to say to me through that um, thoughts? And then probably you will be feeling much more less pain inside you, okay? There were less doubts inside you. So that's how is that the thoughts, 
um, didn't bother me too much because that thought is a vibration. Because sometimes I didn't inherit the thoughts from um, inside me. Because also you need to know sometimes the process of the thinking is our, but also is a collective. So that could be your neighbor, that could be your husband, that could be your spouse, that could be your sister, dad, whatever you would like to find it. Okay. So this is that uh, the way how we just only doing that doesn't be always our. Okay. They are not really always our. We need to pay attention on it straight away. Okay, so that's the thoughts, manifestation and karma. I would like to talk to you a little bit briefly how I manifest something in my life. I'm so really um, happy for myself. I didn't give up because that's sometimes the people just only giving up themselves straight away if something is not happening straight away. That took me two years, believe me or not. Life needs a patience. So that's why we are here on the planet Earth. So the thoughts is really important. That's all the vibration. You are vibrating all the time, all the time. And remember what we are vibration. Uh, no, just let me go back. So what kind of the vibration you are holding inside you? I mean, your aura is holding inside you. That kind of thing are you attracting to your life? That's how you're manifesting. That's the, all the karma. So release the karma, just clean that stuff. And then manifestation will become much more easier because the thoughts will be much more nicer inside you, isn't it? How does that sound for you? For me, that's perfect. That's for me, is a perfect in the imperfection, isn't it? But is that's how is the life works. That's how is the manifestation works. We need to do the work, inner work, and then we can see outside. Because what you've got inside is showing you outside, isn't it? That's the all the that's the all about the life that's all about the lesson now when we are here on the planet earth so that's all from me today i don't want to hold you a little bit much more longer but i gave you all the knowledge at the moment or the, all the information which helped me and i believe me or not that really works i experienced i've learned the lesson so you can take it that's what i'm sharing with you that's all about Thoughts, manifestation, and karma. So if you need any help, yeah, reach me out. You know where I am. So linking tree in my bio. So thank you so much. If you need a little bit more around the karma, of course, I can just mm, record the video for you. But please leave me a message, leave me a comment so I can manage this time, uh, this next time for you. So speak to you soon and please share these words as far as you would like to because someone somewhere is waiting for that word. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Oh my goodness, again, the instant beautiful day.